that's going to be the gallery frame and that's going to be the contact us so I'll select that which takes us to frame 4 then I'm going to insert a frame and I'm going to do exactly the same for the navigation I'm going to insert the frame there now don't worry about linking this navigation up yet we're going to do that later I'm going to leave the logo out because when we get to these frames I no longer want the logo to be there in fact I want the logo to be somewhere else a bit smaller so I'm going to take this I'm going to insert frame then to separate it from this I'm going to come in here and I'm going to insert keyframe now this means that these two are separated so I basically can grab this go to the free transform tool up here on the left and I can reduce this down so that it's kind of a little icon and then I can put it or just move the pivot point for it we'll get onto that later select it I can come up here and I can whack it in that corner so it's constant on the site but just in the corner and now if I go to, to this frame you'll see it's there and if you go to there it's there so for frame 3 which is this one we're going to put the gallery in so for the gallery I'm going to come up here create a layer then I'm going to come in here at frame 3 and I'm going to insert a keyframe and then at frame 4 I'm also going to insert a keyframe and now I'm going to start to put my nav block in here so I'm going to go to file make sure you're on the right frame remember it's frame 3 I'm going to import import to stage and I'm going to go nav block and there it is which I'll shunt right against the edge and I'll bring it down there now I want to put my gradient behind it <coughs> so I'll label this gallery and I'll create another layer now by clicking navigation layer there and then clicking insert layer it will appear above it so I want the gradient to appear underneath of it so that's why I did that again come in here um, F6 creates a keyframe nice quick way of doing it come back in here select this again this time we're going to go to gradients so it's here there's a little gradient down the bottom which will allow you to change over here I'm going to change it put this in here so I'm just clicking in here now and it will create another little swatched area in here I'm gonna bring that down to black but I'm gonna bring the alpha down which makes it invisible and then you can see the effect the little lines grid underneath means that you can see through it um, the top one I'm gonna bring up in color slightly okay so that's my color now I'm going to just well first I'm going to resize this slightly so I can see everything and then I'm going to just click in here and I'm going to drag this out to the edge about there and notice my rotation of the gradient is wrong so if I come over to the gradient tool wherever it is here we go free transform then gradient I'm going to click in there and you'll notice these things appear and this allows you to turn the gradient you're not turning the box you're turning the gradient with inside it and it allows you to move it up or down so that's quite nice I'll go back to that go back to the free transform and I'm just gonna knock it in a little bit if you haven't got that much control you can come down here and do it this way then of course like as usual you can use the arrow keys to just knock yourself back in there so that looks good okay so that's our blocks all in position so the next thing we'll be doing is adding our text to the page but the last thing I want to do before 
we carry on is to select this gallery make sure you're set, selecting the right layer you might select the gradient behind it by accident to stop yourself from doing that you can lock the layers and now the only layer I can't select any of this the only thing I can select now is the nav block because it's the only one that's unlocked and I want you to right hand click go down to convert to symbol call it gallery and then make sure the type is movie clip and then press OK because I'm going to create all the pullouts all the pop-ups for this within its own movie clip which means you can set it up from scratch so we'll do that in the next lesson and we'll add the text and then we're pretty much done so quite a simple little site it can be done very quickly should be doing this sort of site in once you've done all the design assets it shouldn't take you more than 15-20 minutes okay see you in the next lesson